What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel in another video. Today I wanted to try something that I haven't tried before. I have a very small amount of violet and we're going to do a flip cup with these colors. This is titanium white cerulean blue. There's a metallic cobalt blue. There's an onyx black and this is just a lighter violet. So what I wanted to try to do is between the layers I'm going to put some drops. Just small, small amounts of the violet. And I want to see how it comes out in the finished product instead of an entire layer of it. And with that, we're just going to get started. Halloween has come and gone. Now everybody's getting ready for Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff. Hope everybody's doing well. Wherever you are in the world. So all these colors are mixed two parts, pouring medium to one part paint. Um, there's one drop of the OGX coconut milk hair serum in each color. And then we're just going to start with this part. I'm just going to make little, little tiny puddles. I just want to see how or if it even shows up as little violet accents. I think it will. So just small amounts. And then we'll go back to our puddles. I'm already seeing something. It's kind of pushing those lighter violet colors all the way against the wall. So I might have to start making puddles closer to where I'm actually pouring the paint into the cup so that the paint can bury it instead of pushing it off to the side. I'm not sure. Because I feel like if it just continues to push it all off to the side, then you definitely aren't going to notice any of it. So let me put some little drops here in the middle. Well, this is where I'm forming the puddles of the other colors anyway. Alright, so it's like three drops. And then one, two, three, okay. And then we can start with the layering again. Yeah, at least this is covering that purple instead of burying it or pushing it up against the wall. So that's definitely probably better. Now I'm just using the black and the white as kind of um, contrasting colors together because we have a really light blue then we have this cobalt metallic blue it does dry a little bit darker but it's a very pretty color which is the main reason i i wanted to use it and then just really hoping for these light violet little accents to pop through all right just little drops I'm really hoping it comes out cool. I really think it will. Because we're barely using any of it. So, oh, hold on. Yeah, let's put some white over that. There we go. And then a little bit of black. Not much. So we can go back into our metallic. This is such a beautiful color when it dries. That metallic cobalt blue, it almost has like hints of teal in it. When it's dry, it's so pretty. All right, a little black and then a little violet again. As you can see now, it seems to be spreading, almost making its own ring, which is kind of cool. So we haven't used barely any of it. Maybe a total after this whole thing's said and done, it'll be like 30 drops of this violet total. But I'm curious. I think it's going to be really cool. Oh, actually, I don't, I don't want any more black. Sorry, all is hearing something shifting around in the art room, but there's nobody in here with me. if you can hear that through the microphone it's kind of weird maybe my art room's haunted 
I don't think so. What? Oh, it's the cats outside being crazy. It's probably my little buddy trying to break in. Silly little dude. What are you doing, baby? Calm down. I hear you. All right. Yeah, I, th I think this is gonna come out really cool. So instead of doing a messy flip, I don't want a whole bunch of mixing of colors. So I'm just gonna turn the whole production over. There we go. I do want to maintain a lot of the really sharp lines and I have some extra white here with no silicone in it. Kind of just act as a base. So we're just putting a little bit of it around the cup. We're just saving some for the end after the flip. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Ooh. So I just gave it a spin just to kind of stretch the paint out just a little. That does look really awesome though. All right. Ooh, look at the cells starting. The cells are already coming forward. That's awesome. And there's a little hint of the violet. I'm really hoping we get some of that ghost of violet kind of look going through you can kind of see a little bit there that's pretty cool though all right so i'm just gonna instead of spinning it to get my stretch i'm gonna kind of just tilt so if you guys are getting glares from the lights right now i do apologize i realized i really don't do much tilting anymore and there we go wow I'm not seeing a whole ton of that violet yet but I have a good feeling so let's warm up this layer of paint pop some of these bubbles and let's see if we can expose any of that really light violet I'm seeing a little bit of it. I think it'll it'll be easier to expose it once these layers are a little thinner. Wow, got some cool cells coming through. I have a the smallest subtle hint of that violet coming through there. Really nice. All right, so we did kind of thin out the paint. I want to give it the opportunity to make it to the corners. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of paint going down the corners here. And I've noticed one thing too, is that I use blue a lot in my color palettes. I really, I don't know, I kind of gravitate towards it when I'm doing my selection. Sometimes you need fresh eyes looking at stuff. So if you have some colors that you would like me to use, I am open to your feedback. There we go. Huh? All right. So yeah, in the comments below, just give me an idea what you would like to see. And I will bang one out. Nice light spin. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of my artwork is very aquatic themed almost. Okay, so we have that violet on the canvas right now. You can see it kind of ghosted through some certain sections, which is cool. I didn't expect it to go throughout the entire piece. I wanted to more see if it was uh, going to be able to create some kind of little accents, and it did. It worked out really well. 
So now we're going to warm up the layers of paint. Help out these cells, as you can see down here in this corner, the little cells that are popping up over here. A big spot of violet, wow. Yeah, I like that a lot. It almost looks aquatic, but it also looks very like spacey. I don't know why, maybe it's because the mixture of kind of the wispy uh, white film or milky look that's going through like this. And then all the almost planets, kind of. I don't know. It looks really cool. I love some of the things that are going on in here. And then we have a whole lot of that metallic in the cells themselves, which I think is going to look super cool when it's dry. All right, let me get you guys down here because I think it looks really awesome. I love it. So I just picked up my phone immediately and just grabbed it and just started recording because there's so many really interesting things happening. And we got like a whole cell that's just violet up here. Just the whole outside ring, so cool. So yeah, it actually worked, which is cool. It's a new thing that I could possibly do in the future. Just a tiny bit of violet right there. And then we have a little teeny bit going through here. So yeah, I did it. Provided accents, but it's really cool. I like it. So this thing dried really nice. And we still have some of those really pretty violet accents. I really like how the white popped through a lot. And then that cobalt blue. It's just a really pretty color. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.